This is Damon L. Jacobs of We Love Soaps TV. We're here for 2011 Broadway Cares, the last one. Stay tuned for the interviews and insights you want to see. I'm here with We Love Soaps TV, Anthony Geary, also known as the number one best actor according to We Love Soaps critics and fans alike. Thank Last you Last so year at much. this event we talked about that. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> thrilled. That was a very great honor. Thank you. Well, it's so good to see you and it's so great to see you still active in part of fighting HIV and raising money for such an important cause. I love this organization and I would go anywhere for them anytime and it's a wonderful cause. It's a uh, people forget that it's still very much alive and in our lives and uh, we need ed more education and uh, more funding and it's so anytime I can do anything for this cause, I'm happy to do it. That is so great. You know, that is one of the things that I face um, in the work I do, which is a lot of prevention and education for HIV. I see a lot of young people who don't perceive this as a problem yeah. or something that hasn't touched them in our lifetime the way it has perhaps for you and I. What might you say to someone who doesn't perceive HIV as something that is still relevant in 2011? Well, wake up because, yeah. you know, I was in Africa a couple of years ago and it is devastating that continent and it's also very much with us in our country and in Europe and Asia it's not going away it's there and it needs to be it needs to be dealt with the denial doesn't get us anywhere we have to know about it educate ourselves protect ourselves and our loved ones and um, you know and and support the organizations that support people who are stricken with this terrible disease. That's right. I, I'm with you 100%. One last question. I love seeing you in Into the Woods. I love your theater work. Any theater pieces coming up or anything you're, you're going to be? Well, uh, a year from... Uh, 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 in a year, I'm looking at something uh, to do in Los Angeles. Uh, so uh, right now, there isn't anything on the horizon, but uh, I'm always open to... Uh, investigating and I think uh, uh, in uh, 2012 I'm going to do a, a run of, of a play. Can't wait. Yeah, Anthony, thank you, thank you man. My Such pleasure. an honor. With Emmy winning Jonathan Jackson of General Hospital. It's so great to meet you man. Thank you. I have been admiring your work from the very beginning from that first cafe in Canada where Lucky nice. appeared on the scene in 1993. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, one of the things I've admired about you in your long career is that you've always been consistent in your dedication to raising money for HIV AIDS charities and fighting for the cause. Why has this been important to you? Well, it's uh, it's something that I feel like everybody should be involved with. I mean, it's uh, it's a it's a global e epidemic, you know. And um, from where I come from, uh, you know, get, being given the opportunity to help in little ways is uh, really a privilege for us. So. Um, in some ways, people think we're helping, but really we're the ones who are being blessed by being able to um, put on shows like this, and, and uh, you know, hopefully the money uh, is put to uh, to a great cause, which which I'm confident that it is. So. Right. So it's almost like when we give in this way, we get so much more back. Right? It's very true. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of the things I do is actually do outreach for HIV vaccine trials here okay. in New York City, okay. and um, we're looking for people between the ages of 18 and 50 to learn more about the current vaccine trials that would prevent someone who's negative from ever becoming positive. Okay. Um, what I encounter though a lot of times is people under 30 um, don't always understand that HIV is still relevant or something that they need to be part of. Right. Do you think that's true for people in this generation or do you think, uh, what might you say to someone who doesn't feel like they're affected by HIV or AIDS? Well I think that, uh, you know, for my generation it's just extremely important to be aware that this is a very serious um, uh, disease, a very serious threat out there, and uh, whatever precautions you can take, and and to help your friends as well. I mean, I'm a, a big proponent of abstinence as well, um, which is you know the safest way to go. Um, but beyond that, you know the the things you mentioned as well. I think it's very important for people to take care of themselves and to be safe. I mean, there's just, life is precious and it's short and uh, we should absolutely do everything we can to um, to take care of ourselves and make the most of it. I'm yeah. with you. Anything you can tell us about what's ahead for Lucky with Siobhan or oh, Elizabeth boy. or anybody else? A lot of drama. A lot of drama. A lot of drama. A lot of, it's, drama, it's, a lot of baby drama. Yes, it's yeah. been a busy, it's been a busy uh, couple months, but uh, a lot of great stuff coming. Great. A lot of great scenes and it's been uh, it's been really fun for me to work with uh, Tony and, and Becky and Aaron and uh, Steve and all, all, all the different people. All the, the old gang is back. Yes, it's yes. great. Yes, yeah. with my true love, Eileen Chris.
Kristen. Lucky to be next to you. All right. <laughs> I love this love. woman. How are Damon you? Damon Love. I love you. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. Good, I'm doing great. good. Yeah. So, you know, I've been talking to people. I feel honestly concerned that this is the what they call the grand finale of Broadway Cares and ABC's involvement. That concerns me as someone who knows and loves many people with HIV and is still trying to get rights out there. What do you think is going on? Why is this the last year? I don't know if SoapNet is a contributing factor, but that SoapNet is not going to be around. I don't really know. But I do know that people do want to do something, maybe continue this. I've yeah. heard through the grapevine that, they, yeah. that they're going to try to figure out a way to yeah. continue this. You have been in the entertainment industry and you've been here from the beginning to see the devastation that AIDS has, has caused Absolutely. in our community. I lost a lot of friends. I know. A lot I know friends. that. What do you feel, what do you still do to, to support the cause and help people living with HIV? Whenever there's a benefit I can go to yeah. uh, that supports that cause, I'm there. Yeah. You know, with uh, Paws Magazine and this and a any event that, that you know, I go to a lot of different charity events, but particularly this is a real yeah. uh, big one for me. Now I have to say I love, love, love my big gay fat Italian wedding. I probably didn't say that right, but your role is my so My big gay big Italian fat, wedding. Italian wedding. Yes. You're so good. I Thank love seeing you. you on stage. Are Thank we going to get to see you on more stage this year? I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. If they'll have me, yeah. How about one of your blowout concerts at the uh, tryout? I will do one. I'm waiting until it gets warmer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a wimp. I, I, but really. you are so multi-talented. You act, you sing, you dance. And I wear wigs very well. And you wear you wigs very well, and you've got such a great sense of humor. And, and anybody with half a brain out there is going to be able to use that to their advantage. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> well.